America's trade deficit grew in the first three months of this year, but it imported significantly less from Korea, possibly a sign of things to come. Further trade restrictions that could come may hit some of Seoul's core industries. Wu Xiong takes a closer look. It seems the Trump administration's drive to balance out its trade deficits has taken a substantial toll on Korean exports. Figures from the U.S. Commerce Department show its total trade deficit grew by $12 billion in the first quarter of this year, up 7.3 percent on year. But despite the bigger trade deficit, America's imports from Korea shrank by 25 percent, the biggest drop among the top 10 countries that have a trade surplus with the U.S. Imports from India, Italy and Germany also dropped in the same period, while shipments from Canada, Ireland and Mexico grew significantly. This comes amid concerns that the U.S. may radically change or even terminate its bilateral trade agreement with Korea, as suggested by President Trump in an interview last week. On the 100th day of his presidency, Trump signed an order to review all trade agreements to ensure that they are in America's interest. The U.S. administration is also considering imposing trade restrictions in a bid to protect homegrown companies in steel, aluminium, semiconductors and shipbuilding, all of which are core export industries for Korea. Seoul has since set up a task force to review the bilateral trade pact and formulate measures to cushion the impact of Washington's anti-dumping duties on foreign steel. Korea's Trade Minister Chu yong an said last week that Korea is preparing for every possible scenario that the U.S. may present, including a renegotiation. Woo Seung, Arirang News.